So I got a 110 degree angle right here. This is some props I used from my previous video. And let's say I don't have an angle finder or my angle finder breaks while I'm on the job. To find that angle, you put, you make sure both of your pieces of wood are the same thickness, same size wood. These are both two by four. Put one piece like this, put the other piece on this wall. So each piece is on the wall, like so, and you mark right here. Then you have this line here, I marked. And what I'm gonna do is trace a straight line from this corner up to the corner of the board. And you can use a frame and square. I'll just use this piece of wood I have right here. I'll line it up here. So now I have my mark, my angle here. So I will get onto the miter saw and adjust it until the blade lines up perfect here and that's where I will cut it all right so I have my block of wood here I have my line we're gonna find out where we have to cut at right here so I'm gonna look for this guide right here to line up with this with this line where my saw blade will be so I'll put it on and when I think it's close I will check it and see Come down. You can tell it's still off. So I'm going to readjust a little bit so it looks good. And that looks pretty good right there. That's showing 36 on my miter saw. So let's make this cut. Pretty good cut come over make the same cut let's take our 110 degree angle here let's get everything lined up now we made our two cuts there you go how to cut angles without an angle finder. Look on a miter saw, wind up going to 36 degrees. All right, this piece over. Next one we're gonna cut. I already checked this like I told you before. So I know it's a 125 degree angle, but for we're gonna pretend we don't know what the angle is. All right, we're on to our next angle. So, put a piece of wood in, secure it to the wall, right in the corner. Bring the other piece in. Let's get it secure. Everything is tight. Mark right here. Then I wanna make a line from here to here to the corner of this line to the corner of the board and that will be the cut line I need to follow so let's mark it out see how I got it marked and that line from here to here is gonna be where you want your saw blade to run to get the correct angle